good morning students 12th standard physics so in this class we are going to discuss about tangent law and tangent galois meter so tangent law is a magnetic need is freely suspended in two mutually perpendicular magnetic fields so the magnetic need will come to rest in the direction of resultant of the two fields so consider a magnetic needle so is placed in a two mutually perpendicular fields b is a magnetic field due to current carrying conductor then bh is a magnetic field due to that is h horizontal magnetic field so if you place a magnetic needle after it comes to rest at the direction of resultant of the two fields that is tangent law so it relates its horizontal component of its magnetic field and field due to the current carrying conductor so b is equal to bh tan theta so tangent galois meter working under the principle tangent law so tangent galois meter so there is a coil so the coil copper coil is wound on a non metallic frame or non magnetic material using a circular frame so it's made of brass or wood so the coil have so number of turns then two turns five turns 50 turns of different thickness so two turns it's more thick five turns somewhat less thick 50 turns of copper wire is thin so it is used to measuring the current of different strains for example two turns is used to measure greater than 1 ampere if it is 5 turns it's 0.5 ampere to 0.9 ampere if it is 50 turns it, it is used to measure from 0.1 to 0.5 ampere so thickness reduces current value should be reduced if it not the tangent galois meter will gone the next magnetometer so this is a circular coil it's wound on a non magnetic frame it's made up of brass or wood so there is a horizontal plane so upright projection is there on magnetometer so the magnetometer is divided into four quadrants so it's from 0 to 90 degree and 0 to 90 0 to 90 as four quadrants so there is a magnetic needle is placed at the center of the magnetometer it's upright projection it is freely suspended it's a pivoted magnet so there is a aluminum pointer is also normal to the magnetic needle so that is aluminum pointer points in 0 0 degree so it's a primary condition for magnetometer while doing the experiment then what are the precaution measures so the magnetic material should be kept away from the instrument doing during the experiment then split level and leveling screws so there is a split level to maintain the instrument exactly horizontal and exactly vertical then three leveling screws are there to make the instrument as horizontal surface then the magnetic needle should be exactly in horizontal direction then the magnetic coil that is circular coil is exactly parallel or vertical to the magnetic meridian so the plane of the coil is parallel so this is the plane of the coil for example plane of the coil is parallel to the magnetic meridian then as as a suit as usual the aluminum pointer shows 0 degree 0 degree then what is the theory when no current is introduced in the circuit there is only one magnetic field that is bh that yes magnetic field so the magnetic needle points in the direction of yes horizontal magnetic field if switch on the circuit there is a current flow in the circular coil so coil is is wound on a copper so there is a current flow in the copper coil so there is a magnetic field produced perpendicular to the circular coil so there are two cross magnetic field bh and b we are placing a magnetic needle so the magnetic needle comes to rest at the resultant of the two fields so using tangent law bh equal to b equal to bh tan theta so already we know the previous class what is the magnetic field at the center of the coil b is equal to mu0 ni by 2r just from 1 and 2 just equate both our magnetic field so mu0 ni by 2r equal to bh tan theta so what's our aim so using tangent galois meter we are going to find the magnitude of yes horizontal magnetic field so bh equal to mu0 ni by 2r into 1 by tan theta so in this class we have discuss tangent law and tangent galois meter so tangent law a magnetic needle is placed in a yes horizontal magnetic field and magnetic field due to current carrying conductor so it comes to rest in the direction of magnetic field resultant of the two fields so b equal to bh tan theta from this 
principal tangent galvanometer is working so from the tangent galvanometer we are finding the earth's magnetic field its horizontal magnetic field bh equal to mu0 ni by 2r 1 by tan theta okay students